Hi, I'm Dr. Madhav, Associate Consultant in Nephrology at Manipal Hospital Whitefield. Today, I will be speaking about nephrolithiasis, also known as renal stones. This is a commonly seen condition, but often frequently misunderstood. Renal stones are hard deposits of minerals and salts that form in your kidney. These can deposit in any form of your urinary tract from the kidney to the ureter to the urinary bladder. So stones occur by a process called a supersaturation. So it requires concentrated urine as well as a balance between stone formers and stone inhibitors. Factors which promote stone formation include high calcium in the urine, high oxalate in the urine and high uric acid. Whereas stone inhibitors include citrate. So if there is a low urinary citrate, then there is lesser inhibition for stone formation. About 1 in 11 people would report having kidney stones. By the age of 75 years, about 20% of men and about 15% of women would have had renal stones. Not only having renal stones, even recurrence is quite common. About 50% of people can have recurrence in 5 to 10 years. And in about 15 to 20 years, the rate of recurrence is almost 75%. So majority of the stones are calcium stones, which is about 70 to 80 percent, which can either be calcium oxalate or calcium phosphorus stones. Uric acid stones account for about 8 percent. Struvite stones account for about 1 to 5 percent. And cysteine stones are less than 1 percent and other stones are also less than 1 percent. So a patient may present with pain, which is often described as one of the worst pains. This may be intermittent, that is it might come and go. It might be radiating from the loin to the groin, that is from the back to the pelvis. Apart from this, patients may also have blood in their urine, nausea, vomiting. Typically, we would offer some sort of an imaging. Typically, a CT scan would be the gold standard to identify the stone as well as if there is any obstruction in the stone uh, that the stone is causing. Ultrasound would be an alternative option, especially in pregnant women or in whom we do not want to subject them for such radiation. 